Ian, a tough couple of days, plenty to digest on the whole. How do you see the game as a whole? Uh, firstly, congratulations to Notts. Um, I think we've shown, they've shown today, you know, they're probably a bit further down the line than we are at the moment, and they're justifiably uh, favourites for uh, our league. I thought, you know, we took it to the last session of four days. Um, we have positives, obviously, Tom Clark, Maiden Century, and, and stuff like Stephen Finn. I thought he's, he was outstanding in this game. Um, obviously, last two days, you can talk about drop catches or things not going your way with unfortunate injury to Dan Ibrahim who's going to be out now for a few weeks so you know positives you don't become a bad side or a bad player overnight. Yeah and I know a lot has been said about our side being young and maybe lacking some experience but knowing you the position we were in on day two I guess you probably would have wanted more from the game in the end? Always you always want more from the game that's uh, that's just a given. Um, you know, ultimately, we got ourselves in a position maybe where we could have scored more runs than 375. Um, you know, you look at the blueprint, if you get in, you've got to score big here. The, you know, it's an amazing wicket again from Ben. Um, but that's the sort of wickets we want to play on. And, you know, drop catch here or there can change things. And you know, when you play against good sides, you have to battle hard for four days. Like you said, like you touched on, there's plenty to be happy about in this game. Steve Finn on his debut taking three wickets, a maiden first class century for Tom Clark, runs for Alior, Jamie Atkins as the Knights watchman, he put in a real good shift there. But ultimately the game turned on that Mullaney innings, would you say? Yeah, ultimately, and I and I give credit also to their left arm spinner who enabled their quicks to rotate at the other end. I thought their spinner bowled outstanding. You know, you look at um, Mullaney's experience compared to Tom you know, scoring his first ever 100, you know, he went on and made his 100 into a big one, you know, yeah. these little things. So it's lots for us to learn as much as anything else. And, you know, I'm, I'm seeing people improve. That's more importantly. And I asked, like, you know, all the time, this is a project that we want to always, we're looking now, you need, we've got to be patient with this side. That's the one thing. Um, but always you want them to keep learning every day. And we lost an important player in Finn Hudson Prentice just before the game. Dan Ibrahim has obviously had a bit of a knock as well. How long do we think he might be out? Uh, I'd obviously, you'd have to ask John that. Um, I just unfortunate young kid. He's going to be out for a few weeks. Obviously, Finn as well. It's going to be that's more likely to be months. Okay. And obviously, you lost George as well with long COVID. You know, they, those three balance the side out, which is sure. really frustrating. And obviously, you know, obviously Pajara not being able to get here in time either. So that was quite difficult um, to digest. And that, you know, we just put the best side out we could. And. Um, you know, but then the next game you get people back, so our side will look different again next week. And then looking ahead to that game, what are your expe expectations for that? Knowing you, I know you probably want to go there, play aggressive and, and, and get the win, take the game to Derbyshire. More importantly, we want to be better than we were this game. You know, ultimately we lost. I don't like losing. The players don't like losing. So we'll be going up to Derby and trying to turn that around and try and get our first win of the season.